Oh boy, here we go. Okay, so I feel a little bit better than I did in the last video. I'm sorry about that. It just happens sometimes with the pressure in my chest and stuff. Anyway, I left it paused this entire time. So, here we go. Same day as, as yesterday's recording, I mean. Ooh, 1,482 income. So, that's like, I left it paused for like an hour or so. I don't know how much exactly, but... Main square. There she is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. If I accept you, can I still meet with her? Oh, hello again. Perhaps I could join you for another walk. You're such a great source of lyrical inspiration. Yeah, follow me. Let's see what happens. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about no. your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. Thag and his men, they had just as many. And now they have none, because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Uh, not really. You will get used to the burden, as all heroes must. Come. The world is better off without Thag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Look, that is where Lucian is now, the Tattered Spire. Okay. The Spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside. Though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish. An end to a hollow and corrupt world. And for a purer one to take its place. And now... Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. Fate cards. These cards offer glimpses of what your future holds. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. Okay. Talk to the abbot in Oakfield. I like that the dog lays down. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, Why not go to Bowerstone Old Town? Give me the prettiest uh, gift. I just got them a couple of days ago. Shall we? How are things? Well, hello again! It's you! Wow, you've changed since you were last running around this place. <laughs> but I recognise what's in those eyes. Goodness, decency, respect for the law. After you gave me those arrest warrants, I broke up Nicky the Nickname's whole crew, and Lord Lucian made me sheriff. Of course, then he disappeared. But crime is way down. An urban renewal has transformed this neighbourhood into the most desirable district in Bowerstone. Fantastic, isn't it? As a good friend of the sheriff, you'll find the shopkeepers here will give you a discount on all goods and services. Of course, the same discount extends to that sister of yours, should she be in town. Well, I won't take any more of your time. Now, Stay out of trouble, won't you? Yeah, um, thank you. But, uh... Okay. Yeah, about my sister... Got anything to play? Welcome to this Dig spot, where? Rusty necklace. Okay, that's it. Wait, I like doing the... There's a kid here. It's just... Won't let my dog... Okay, I was going to praise my dog, but... Okay, whatever. 247 income. Nice. How much are the houses worth here? 11,000. Nine thousand one hundred and seventy nine. Four thousand three hundred and forty. Wow. And this house is called the Pit. Damn. Imagine you owned a house and it was nicknamed the Pit. Like, that, that's not going to make you feel good. What? Huh. It looks nice through here, though. Now dig. Okay. Where'd the dog go? Oh. Wow, it is really dark. Can I, is there like a wait option like there is in Skyrim? I don't think there is. This is where we lived. Remember, dog? I'm my mommy's good boy. I mean, not in this house, but I'm just saying. House of Hard Knocks. Okay, so our place turned into a bee... ...thing area because technically we didn't really have a house it's nice here though after helping get rid of crime 
sorry. <laughs> What's this way? Oh, this is where the uh, the beggar guy was. I think. Old Town Food Stall. Some say that there is no better food than that you can buy in street stalls. Let's buy it. Decrease that. Cool. What about this one? Old Town Gift Stall. Nope, don't, don't have enough. Clothing Stall. Definitely don't have enough for that one. You know what would be cool is if we could run our own stall. Like, I don't mean buy it and then have them sell their own goods. I mean buy it and then we sell goods that we find. Instead of selling it to a trader, you sell it to customers. That would be cool. Especially with the online part. Uh, I'm pretty sure online doesn't exist anymore on here. But, like for the new Fable that they announced, um, it would be cool if we had our own shops and then like other players can buy from our stall that would be really neat um so nobody owns this they or they own it but nobody knows who owns it Sixteen thousand for the warehouse there's probably something in there that's like to silver key probably most likely Weapon stall. Alchemist stall. Okay. Two hundred fifty nine incoming now, that's nice. So how much of the house is down here? Expensive. No, it's not. It's actually really cheap. Cemetery Road. Okay, probably not a good idea to go in the cemetery. Actually, there might be a good idea to go in the cemetery. Um, if we have the option to dig and stuff, may I don't know if our dog can level up this way. Like, if he finds a certain amount of dig spots, that's when his treasure hunting increases or what? I don't know. But I'm assuming there would be something here in the cemetery, right? No? No? Yes? No? Yes, there is. Right on top of somebody's grave. Who's this? Too worn to read. Highwayman hat. The Highwayman's signature. Travelers who see this hat approaching along a road know they're in trouble. Highwayman mask. It is crucial for the survival of the Highwayman's guild that all its members remain unidentifiable, and this mask ensures just that. So that person that died there was a Highwayman, I guess. Or a highwayman just decided to drop his stuff off there. Oh, I did not expect that door to open. Emerald.
It's very colorful and pretty here. It's very bright, but very colorful. Graveyard Mansion. Nobody. Oh, demon door. Somehow I went right past this. You please meet so hungry. I was mad long time ago. Ate meat, lots of meat. Then was demon door. No more meat, only hungry. Please, feed meat now! Anything else? Meat inside, then treasure inside. Good! See meat run. Meat not run into mouth. Oh, you mean the chicken? I gotta kick a chicken into his mouth. Okay, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Okay, here we go. Oop. Whoops. Where'd the chicken go? Wow. Okay, how am I supposed to... Holy crap, it worked. You go inside now. Oh, he only wanted one? Okay. <coughs> Whoa. They really changed this. Forgotten Keep. This looks really pretty. Very freaking bright. Whew. Hold on, let me... That's a little bit too bright, huh? Or, or something. Is it too bright, too saturated? I don't know. Let's turn this down. That doesn't really change much. Uh, let me see. Uh, this? Hold on. Let me see. Turn that back up. Now turn that down. Let's see what happens if I put that down. No, that doesn't really help much. Uh huh. Wait, wait. There we go. Turn this up. That helps a very tiny bit. I'm just trying to not blind people. Okay, this is bigger than a regular demon door from the first game. Yes, I can see the, I can see the treasure chest here, dog. He didn't really have to tell me for this one. Balverine Strength Potion, the high impact combat drink your muscles crave contains no actual bal balvorn byproducts. Practice skill potion. It's the liquid equivalent of practicing for a week. 
It's no wonder it tastes of, of sweat. Infused Will Potion. Inadequate Will Potion to help you move past the awkward, fun at dinner parties level of ability. Okay. Can I jump down? No. I guess this is just decoration here, huh? Oof. Sprite. But it's so weird. The brights are really bright, but the darks are incredibly dark. You can barely see anything. There's no, like, good in-between mix. Except when it's actually in-between, like here. This is nice. This is a good level of brightness. I don't know. Let's go under the bridge, see what's over here. Porcelain doll. A delightful present for any child until its little por porcelain face shatters during routine play. Okay. Locked door. Okay, Margo's Big Book of Trading. I think we have this already, don't we? Margo's book contains several chapters on subjects such as hoodwinking the public, passing old junk off as precious, and the importance of a persuasive voice. More useful are the chapters on the basics of trading. A key eye for sales and shortages is considered an essential skill, as is the ability to track down items at a reduced price. These can be can then be sold in regions where stock is running low for greater profit. Mergo reminds readers that professional traders can have a big impact on a town's economy, driving prices up or down and affecting the welfare of hundreds of people with their choices. And one must never forget the advantage of having a winning personality when it comes to sweet-talking shopkeepers into giving you better deals, a.k.a. spam your emotes until they like you more. And a necklace, okay. Why is there stuff thrown about everywhere? Okay, I can't even open that door. Bonnet? Okay. Why can I not open this door? It looks like I should be able to, but it does not want me to. Maybe I wasn't supposed to be here yet. Like, I want to explore and not miss anything, but at the same time, if I come to places that 
I was going to be anyway later on, then I don't know. I was gonna say this is, seems oh okay never mind that looked wide open over there hundred gold five key chest yep uh, or is that 15? I can't tell. Uh, bandits! Bandits? Uh-oh. What's this way? Oh, another chest. That I also cannot open. Java potion. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, now, uh, this isn't what it looks like. You sure? Your name is literally Rob. I didn't kill these people. The bandits did. They took the loot, but they didn't check the bodies. Look, these fellas don't need this stuff anymore. No harm done, right? You can help yourself too. Take whatever you find. I'm not greedy. I mean, you kind of are. But it says you like thumbs up. Here you go. That's great. 50 coins. Ooh, that's nice, that is. I'm that's sure messed up. Chocolate. I don't know why I want chocolate off dead bodies, but okay. I'm sorry if you can hear the TV, by the way. It's literally right on the other side of my wall. I can't really do anything about it. Why not dispatch them from here with your crossbow? Remember, you can spend experience on skill to improve your marksmanship. Ooh, they can see me. Okay, so I can't charge the bow this time? Or can I? I don't even know. You know what? Screw it. Let's kick. 
kick some ass. Yes. Gotcha. Nice. And I want to try the potions. It says that these give experience. Oh, that's also a health potion. Shoot, I shouldn't use that then. But the other ones that I got, the infused will... Infused will... Skill potion. Skill potion. And strength potion. Perfect. Two hundred fifty gold, nice. Okay, what can I do? First of all, first things first. Roll. I want the roll ability. There we go. Tap A while moving. Awesome. And speed I'll increase since it's only four fifty. This one I really want to do uh, Raise Dead. I'll do that. Okay, so I have enough for, for Raise Dead 2. There we go, look at that. Skill... Unlock special moves for ranged weapon. I guess another speed. Mm. Attacks upon your enemies. No. Brutal styles unlock special. What is flourish again? Hold X to charge up for a flourish. Oh, okay. That what we learned in the last game too. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna do that. Sounds good. And there's chain attacks, too, in the next one. Nice. A tougher hero is able to withstand more damage before falling in battle. The greater your speed, the faster you will be able to... Dextra Styles unlock special moves for rain. Aiming sounds good, and I also think that I need that for that that goblin-looking thing that I seen in the, in the second episode. What was it? I don't know. Hold Y to enter aim mode. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Boom, like that. Okay, cool. Now it says that I, if I'm against, I mean, facing an enemy, I can, yeah, okay. That's fine. All past the power stone have been cut off by bandits. Someone in Oakfield will be able to give you more information. Okay. I thought we were already in Bowerstone. I don't I don't hold on. Where where were we? Yeah, we were. All roads to Bowerstone. So, do they mean from Bowerstone? I don't even know. 
What's this? Silver key. Beneath the statue's plaque, someone has scratched the words, Beware the ghost. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Nice. Oh, that was my best pal. So that's what I can do. That sound that seems really cool. Get up! Hit him! Hit him! Yeah! What am I supposed to do? Gotcha. Come on, it's saying that there's still more. It won't, it doesn't, like it won't let me move. That normally means there's something, an orb piece to collect somewhere, wherever it is. See, you can hear it. I lost an experience orb somewhere. Where is it? Oh well. <laughs> Dogs of War, Book One. Written by a member of the K Knight tribe. Native of the northern regions, regions of Samarkand and famed for their use of dogs in warfare, use this book to train your dog in the art of fighting, increasing the damage he can do in combat. Ooh. Okay, sounds good to me. Use it right away. Where is it? So that's what I need for treasure hunting too. Okay. Also, I did not see the cards that she gave me. Oh, books. Oh shoot, look at that. That's cool. Can't look up close at it, but... The relic. An ancient device of incredible power. Created by those who foresaw the terror of the spire. It waits for one with the strength to bear it, and for the three who can summon it. Remember your crossbow. This can be over before they know it. Or, instead, I can do this. Boom. Go get him. It's still not collecting every single experience orb for some reason. Okay, where? Dog tricks. 
Hides now, animal lover, dog trainer, and circus owner. Rafia wrote a series of books. Okay, we read this on the other one. Use this book to teach your dog how to hide its face with its paws. To see him do this, either belt or fart. Oh, I get it. You can't actually tell your dog to do the trick. You just do your own emo, and the dog will follow the trick. That's cool. I like that. Rusty necklace. Oh, wait. There you go. Boom. Your dog can now hide his snout. Cool. Anyway, what's the next item? The choice. The choice. A terrible decision waits in your future. And just beyond it, a glorious reward. That's it. The mage follows where wisdom leads, but always into conflict. Making an ally of this hero will cost you much. Okay. The pilgrim is the one that we're finding now. What's well, the thief? This hero harbors a soul without a glimmer of light. I see choked weeds and water. He lies just out of reach. And the one we're finding right now is the Pilgrim, which is funny because that's what I had my hero nicknamed in the first game. The Pilgrim. This hero has great spirit and awesome strength, but it is not yet unleashed. The Pilgrim's path is to the north. Okay. Oh, Demon Door. This world is so boring. I've been sitting here thousands of years, and I've seen it all. Hey, you. What's that furry thing bounding up and down? Can it do any tricks? Make it do something fun. Anything to break this bitter monotony. It can. No point talking to me. I can see you have all the verbal wit of a pumice stone. That <laughs> animal of yours looks much more entertaining. So come on, show me what he can do. I don't know what how to activate the other one, but fart. Oh, how delightfully droll. What else can he do? Um... Let's try this. <laughs> Nothing like the simplistic pleasure of a dumb animal demeaning himself for my amusement. Excuse me? Uh, treat. That didn't count. Okay, fetch. Yeah, he failed that one. Um, fetch. There. Well, I can certainly say I've never seen that before. 
Another one! He only has one more, but I don't know how to activate it. Uh, thumbs up? Loot? Believe me, I've seen every idiocy ever performed by man or woman. Make the dance do something instead. Arm pump. Don't I, waste my time with your I don't know. Okay, the backflip. He just did a backflip. That was almost worth waiting a, a few millennia for. If you can do another, I'll let you pass through. Ah. Uh, he doesn't have any more. Except the only other one that I have is to punish him, and I don't want to punish him. Does heal count? No. No point talking to me. I can see you have all the verbal wit. Okay, this is stuck now, the caption. Wow. Hold on. Caption stuck. Uh, audio. No. Game. <sighs> Subtitles off. Game. Subtitles on. Another traveler. Want to get to Oakfield? You'll have to swim, lovey. <laughs> yeah, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Dive. What? Sorry. You always have to be different. For once, <laughs> the only way forward is down. Uh oh. Hey, what's the matter? Are you afraid of heights? Chicken, chicken. How old are you? Hey. Go on, jump, you big baby. Okay. They said jump. Where's my dog? Joey? Are you there? My son Joey's in there. He needs help, but um, I'm a little scared to go in alone. Maybe we could go in together. Okay, but my dog is gone, and I don't know what happened. I don't suppose you want to go in the cave? Should we go in the cave, please? Oh yes, very good. Where the hell is my dog? Should we go in the cave? Please? There he is. Just checking for dig spots. I want to make sure the dog's not going to detect anything. No? Don't go. 
There is a dig spot. I'm worried about poor Joey. Crucible peanuts. Excuse me. Should we go in the cave? Please. Hold on. What is that? Oh, that's one of those things again. I did unlock this. Let me see. It worked. Gargoyle map. This ancient scroll found among the rubble of the stone gargoyle you destroyed contains the following words. Ah, you think a right smart ass, don't you? Well, you'll never find the lost gargoyle treasure. Not in a million years. It's too well hidden in the river dungeon of the City of Stones. So there. At the bottom of the scroll is a detailed map showing a location in Bar Bowerstone Market. Okay. Oh, it's lucky you happened by. I, I didn't dare come in by myself. It's the gargoyles. Okay, so it's a quest now. Well, I probably should have mentioned this, but uh, there might be one or two hobs in here. I'd always heard the stories, you know, that hobs carry off the It's turned into more hobs. But that's just stories. Holy tofu, congratulated and pressed in holy water, but the flavor is nothing special. I don't know, man. What do you mean hobs can turn children into hobs? They never said anything like that in the first game. Wow. Oh! Sorry, I've never seen anything like this before. Threw up. What was that? We should check it out. Uh, I'll be right behind. Okay, I can barely hear my TV. I'm going to turn it up a tiny bit. Hopefully it doesn't echo too much in the microphone. I think I'm gonna fight. Really? Ooh, got him. But not all the way. Hold on. Hold on, let me. Oh boy. Hit it harder! Ah, oh, they're disgusting. But they couldn't be. I mean, they couldn't actually have been children. Could they? Oh, Joey. I'm sorry. You must think I'm pathetic. Let's keep moving. Hold on, there's another gargoyle here somewhere. I can hear him somewhere.
apple pie pocket. Do you like me all the way? What do you like? Whistle and heroic pose. Let's try to cheer you up. I'm not trying to flirt with him. He doesn't want to be cheered up at all. No. Okay, where is the gargoyle? Is he safe? These walkways seem a little uh, rickety. I'm trying to see the gargoyle. I don't see it. Sounds like it's over this way. Ah, oh, for the love of God, stand right. I'll be all right if I just don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, blow me, that's deep. Where the heck is it? Sounds like I'm farther away from him. <laughs> oh, something's in here. Pretty necklace, and that's it. Okay. I don't hear it in here, though. I do not see the gargoyle. Sounds like it's way up, but I don't see it. I do not understand. Huh. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, maybe it isn't here. It sounded really loud right here. Fuck. 
That's Joey. I can hear him. I'm coming, son. Oh, boy. Gotcha. Still don't see the gargoyle. Oh well. See if you can find another way in while I try and get this door open. That's this way. Okay, dog. This way, right? Son into Where are you? Oh. Oh, he just killed himself. Head for the surface, quickly. That was his son. Very blue. Uh oh. That's a really cool. Ability. Oh boy, go away. with you. Chest. Oh shoot, they can fall off the cliff? They're not attacking at all. It's almost like their AI is completely broken. I did not see a single difficulty setting anywhere, so I don't know why it would be broken.
I mean, why they would be so easy unless it is broken. Okay, there is nothing there. Chest. Money bag. That was nice. Look, see how he's not even moving? It's just broken. Treasure! Hob Strength Potion. Use it. I can't. Hold on. Abilities. Strength. Cannot increase that yet. Okay. Nothing that way. Okay. Dog training books in the market in the bookstore. Okay. Hey guys. No. Hey, what's up? Boom! You guys want to go swimming over the over the edge? No. Boom! Damn! Is that everything? I guess so. Did they destroy this area? Is that why it's closed here? Search. Chocolate. Wait, wait. Search. 50 gold. Dang, they destroyed this place, but they didn't even get the gold from it? They're not very good bandits, then. Where do you go? Around here? Aha! Key! Thank you. So what's this way? doesn't look like another loading screen type path so I might as well check it out right I can dive from up here okay what's the point of being up here Nothing. Uh, 
Let's check up here. Rookridge Inn. Completely abandoned. Toy Sword. Children are never too young to learn how to wield a sword, though this is perhaps a little too large for a toddler. Chest. Java Potion. Actually, I should probably use a Java Potion. I have a little bit of health that I can heal up. This way to toilets, bring your own paper. <laughs> Treasure chest. Bunch of dog treats for you, boy. And a key. Cool. A condom. Amazing. And a key chest that I cannot open. Anything down this way? Spring. It's also very freaking quiet. 250 gold, nice. said ow oh I'm on the other side Holy crap, this place is huge. Okay, I should just like follow the actual quest. Bandit bandana, bandit shirt, bandit trousers. 
Wow. Wow, I went really far away. This part of the land is so quiet. It's acting like I shouldn't have even been this way yet. Like I would have already explored it later on or something. I don't know. Nothing this way, okay. Okay, I'm going to have to end it here. It's I've been recording almost an hour and 20 minutes, so thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!